Island. This is Margarita Tarragona from Mexico City. I'm so glad Chris is doing this. Hi, we're eating enchiladas, I'm sorry. Um, I'm so glad Chris is doing this because so many times I've thought about you and about your work and your influence in my life and this is an opportunity to thank you for that. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was writing an article about my professional development for a book they're writing about family therapy in Mexico. And I, there I talk about you. I, of course, I read your book as one of the main texts, uh, Foundations of Family Therapy. And then I got to know you through Peggy Penn. When I got to Ackerman in the late 80s, you were no longer there, you had moved. But through Peggy I met you. I knew about your work and I, I got to personally meet you when you came to visit. I was also telling Chris, I remember you at a workshop at the Family Therapy Networker Conference in Washington, D.C., about in 86, I think, where you were talking about, about a way of doing therapy that seemed absolutely mystifying to me, totally different from everything else I had heard of. And you talked about conversation and just talking. I have to admit, initially, I didn't understand anything, but I knew that whatever you were doing was good. And I, I couldn't have predicted that you were onto something that would have much later really captured my attention and my heart and became the way I worked and the people that I associated with. I also, one specific thing in which you really changed my life was when you spoke about a therapy for the meek. For so many years, I always felt like well, I'm not really getting the gist of this. I don't really know what's really going on with the family. But it's because I'm too young, I have to learn more, I have to study more. If I read enough, if I pray, I will get to be able to design these fabulous interventions that really change what's going on. That, and when I heard that, that you were talking about a therapy for the meek, for those of us that maybe we're not great at creating fabulous strategies or interventions, I felt, oh, this is what I am, this is what I can do too. So that was really inspiring. And through the years, I've admired and reread your work, and I've had the good fortune of being in touch with you. We were so happy when you and Peggy Penn and Tom Anderson came to Mexico. I was reminding Peggy that that was like our greatest hit to have the three of you come with us, was their most successful and well attended and one of the most beloved events. So I want to tell you, even though I feel, I feel really bad I'm not a very good correspondent. I don't write to you as much as I should, or, but you're in my work and in my mind very, very frequently. We missed you here in Cancun for this conference, but you're in many of our hearts. So I hope this video gets to you soon and it finds you well. And I send you my love and my gratitude.